where you think you're going to be 20 years from now and where you end up getting in 20 years, life has a weird way of doing weird things to your career, right? Um, I kind of, I never intended to be a certification instructor, right? I never intended to, to be a college professor. That was never like one of my dreams. Um, but I just really found that I liked it. Uh, so I, I started teaching at the community college just as a, you know, I'm bored. Let me see, do something on the evenings and try to give back to new people trying to get into the field. And I did that and I really started enjoying it. And so then I started teaching these certification courses and then it kind of grew and grew and grew into its own thing that we now have a whole company and that's what we do. Um, <laughs> so it, it's definitely not where I intended. You know, I started my first company back in the late 90s as an IT help desk Essentially, we, we did IT help desk for small businesses because they couldn't afford their own ITs on staff. So we had law offices and real estate agents, and when they had a problem, they'd call us up, and we would drive to their office, and we'd fix their problems, and, and we were kind of their on-site support. And then, you know, I eventually sold that company. I worked with the government for a while. I did work with some other big organizations and, and kind of worked my way up through, you know, corporate America, if you will, that kind of thing. I like engaging with students and and. That, that has been a lot of fun for me. So that's kind of how I ended up on this path later on in my career. But yeah, it's where you think you're going to start out and where you, where you think you're going to end up are definitely different things happen along the way. You know, your life changes, you, you get married, you have kids, um, you know, you move to different cities, you make different friends and, and just, I don't know, priorities change over time. I like what I do now a lot more than, uh, you know, being the guy getting calls at 2.30 in the morning because the server's crashing.